you guys. Good afternoon. It's a wonderful day in Tacoma. <clears throat> Six Half Dancer has not been out. Um, it's just once in a while, you know, he uh, hops and skips, dances down Sixth Avenue, and um, I start laughing hysterically. A lot of times I can't really stop. I just have to keep going. But that guy, like, He's the Duracell dancer, man. He just keeps going. He does. Not kidding. Like, he probably goes for a couple miles at least. Um, anyway, so I found some cool stuff out thrifting and I got some records. So, I'll show you what I got today. So, first thing is, now, some of the stuff I would only buy because, for resale reasons, otherwise I probably wouldn't buy it. Like, I'm not a big band fan, I mean, they're they're alright, you know, they're, but anyway, so this is the band, Moondog Matinee, and this is a gatefold. Um, actually... Let's, let's do this and we'll take it out. I don't remember what's... Oh, yeah. So, actually, this seriously folds out <laughs> to, like, a poster. Um, yeah, wow. Okay. All right. So, I'll put that back in a minute. Now, also, I'm not a big Echo and the Bunny Man fan, but... Um, I had to pick this up for resale reasons. Um, this is like about a $20 record, this one. This one, Porcupine, is also pretty good, but it's not worth quite as much. It's not in quite as good a condition. They're, they're both all right. Um, worth what I paid for them, and I can make some money on them. This, look at that. That right there is a sticker, and when you see this, um, I've found these on Led Zeppelin records before, and it um, means it's an early pressing. Now, the problem with this is the cover is munched, but the record was very clean. So, I bought it, and I didn't pay very much for it, but uh, it's still alright, you know, and because the vinyl is as clean as it is, the it's, it's worth it, you know. Um, but unfortunately, it lowers the price. That being an original pressing of it is really good. Um, again, the condition is a downer. All right, next. This was super cool right here. Um, see, stuff like this, like, you know, I have to really consider keep holding on to this. Um because it is it is pretty collectible I mean it's got value and it's just super cool um, Yusef Latif uh, good good psych jazz stuff jazz uh, Brian Eno my life in, in the bush of ghosts so this is also good. Now I already have a copy of this, so I'm definitely going to sell this one. Um, so that'll be cool. And look at this. Can you believe I found this in the thrift store? That's pretty rare. No means no. You never see no means no in the thrift stores. So this is like one of the 90s release albums. Um, I don't know if they had too many albums after this, actually. Might have. i got to look. I'm not familiar with the later stuff. I was a big No Means No fan, like, the early stuff, like, Sex, Mad, and Wrong, were both, like, the albums that, um, you know, I really, really love. Okay, <clears throat> now, gotta go on and look at some other stuff here. Now, okay, so, I got some really good cassettes. Some, some of these you guys are gonna recognize, because I still haven't sold them yet. Either I haven't tried or they just didn't sell. Um, okay, so I got some good metal here. 
Check this out. Oh yeah, Metallica Creeping Death on Music for Nations. It's a paper label, really good condition. This is sweet. Sealed, oh, Megadeth Killing is my business. Sealed with this original Tower Record sticker. Can you believe that? Yes, believe it, it's real. Slayer, Show No Mercy. This one includes the bonus track. That's pretty damn cool. Live on Dead. Thank you, Matt, for the case. In case you watch my videos, I don't know if you do. Anyway, um, this is South of Heaven. Good one. I got some other sealed. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, hold on. Okay, this, I love this album. I'm not a huge Anthrax fan, but this album and Fistful of Metal, I really like. This album, like, literally stayed stayed on my, uh, <laughs> in my, in my cassette deck, car stereo, for quite a while when it came out. Very good album. This is a album sealed by the English Dogs. Um... Now, this album is worth a listen. This is like... English Dogs went from being... Crossover metal punk to... Like, literally, this is like... Very Metallica influence, but it's really good. This is a killer album. So, if you haven't heard this... It's, it's, worth, it's worth a listen. It'll, it'll, it might just blow your mind. Uh, metal Morphosis is a little bit more... My... I'd say my favorite English Dogs album, it was between uh, Forward to Battle and this album, and it's not quite as metal as this one. This one's damn good, though. This is also sealed, and it's Samson with uh, Bruce Dickinson. So this was Bruce Dickinson's album. He sang in uh, Iron Maiden. And this was his band before Iron Maiden. And I think he is on this one that says Bruce Dickinson Samson. This was probably released after he joined Iron Maiden. You know, they, they were able to sell, Samson was able to sell some records like crazy probably after he joined uh, Iron Maiden. Okay, well, instead of going through every one of these, um, there's a couple other interesting ones here that are sealed. Um, this was kind of interesting. Sacred Oath, a crystal vision. This is, um, this is a weird metal band. I'm not really sure much about this band. I, I'm going to have to listen to what they sound like. I don't think they're Christian. I was thinking they might be Christian when I first saw this, but I don't think so. And, got some other good stuff. Cure, Led Zeppelin... Not a big Ted Nugent fan, but the Amboy Dukes were cool. This is an Amboy Dukes album. Um, this is cool. Metal Blade Comp. This is Metal Blade Comp 1. It's got some interesting bands on it. Um, Slayer, Trouble, Hallow's Eve. Celtic Frost, Fate's Warning, Nasty Savage, Lizzie Borden, Metal Church, Hyrax. Yeah, so this is killer comp here. So I got a lot of Judas Priest, Man of War, Raven, Ozzy, Sabbath. Um... Megadeth, Scorps, um, oh yeah, lots of good stuff, anyway, um, so, some pretty good collecting going here, what's tough is, sometimes I have to give in to selling stuff, because I really, I can't keep, you know, with moving, and I am moving, um, just don't know exactly when, but within, um, the next, next few months, 
um, it's going to happen. And I can't keep everything, you know, so I'm going to kind of decide. I'm, I might put stuff in storage, or I might ship some stuff, media, down to Los Angeles and sell stuff down there, which would probably be a very, very wise move um, for selling killer metal and punk. So that's kind of my plan. Now, one more thing here. Um, thank you, Kent, if you watch my videos. Kent gave me this. This was inside some record. Now, this is Ed Roth. Um, 1963, so this actually is an old sticker, and, um, so this is like an iron-on sticker or something, but it's a Ratfink, so Ed Roth, if you look at Ratfink, uh, look up Ratfink, Ed Roth, and you'll see a bunch of his art, so he did all kinds of stuff, from posters to models to, you know, stickers, shirts, all kinds of stuff. And it's all, like, killer, you know, like that. Like, this guy isn't Rat Fink. This guy is, um, maybe he's Chicken, Chicken Swift? I'm not, I'm not positive. Um, but, I mean, this sticker, if I decide to sell it, it's worth about $30. Um, so that's pretty freaking awesome. It's in great condition. Um... You show you like their Fink City was originally um, located in Southgate, California. So this is old. This is from the 60s. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure about that. So anyway, so those are some interesting finds from the past week. And um, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh I'll let you I'll let you know more um in the future soon about my plans. Um I'm moving and all that. I'm actually really looking forward to moving more and more um you know, as this uh fall progresses I'm um, situating my, my stuff and, and, uh, situating in my head, situating in my apartment. Um, I've already torn down one poster. CZ Top's gone. It was actually falling down, so I decided to take it down. So, but I'm getting pretty close. I'm about to roll up my posters here in a little bit and take step by step. So, anyway, thanks guys.